So it all comes down to this then. The 2018 Strongman Champions League will be settled in the seventh event, the Husafel Stone. Christian Kinoga managed to take it 40 metres as one of the early competitors. 26.5 metres for Luke Herrick. While Alex Murren took it 40 metres. So Murren and Kinoga with the distances to beat here. Both taking it 40 metres. What will Will Bagger do? Such a strange shape to carry. And you can barely see over the top of it either. Slipping a bit there as he hits the line. He's going to turn around, but he drops it down, and that's where Will Baggett will end. On to Sean O'Hagan. How will he deal with the Husafel Stone? Still that distance of 40 metres to beat. Which is basically there and back. Good pace to start with here by O'Hagan. He turns. And this is a fine effort. That's 40. Now he's into the lead. That's another, but that's where he'll end. Just over 60 metres for Sean O'Hagan. He's the new leader. Now the man who introduced him for us, Stefan Solvi Pedersen. I'm not sure this one will fit into his hand luggage on the way back to Iceland. May have to check this one in. But he knows how to deal with this, if any of them do. He turns around for the second 20 metres. 61.3, the distance set by O'Hagan moments ago. One of these guys battling for placings further down the rankings now. We'll be seeing them again in 2019. Pedersen going well here. And it looks as though he might just pip Sean O'Hagan. And he's into the lead. It had to be him, didn't it? The Iceman coming up with the score there. Which puts him in top spot for now. Now on to Dennis Chorus who maintains the fact that one day he will be taking home the title to Germany to make his country proud. It's not going to be this year for him. Looking to go out on a high here. First 20 metres done. He's going to make it 40 here. Can he go for 60? Well, he's going well here, Chorus. The crowd helping him along as well. He's feeling the pain. Those arms will be sore in the morning, but he keeps going as he looks to beat Pettersson. He's going past Pettersson, and not only has he done that, he has set a new world record. He is absolutely done, but his name will go into the record books. The tape measure coming out. And he also leaves this event. Unless Travis Orgmeyer can topple that. He's getting himself chalked up here. Now trying to find some focus, the American. Here he goes. He's started with good pace. back here for 40 metres. He turns around on the line. It's 
It's not beyond the realms of possibility that he could beat Dennis Colrus here. And the way he's going, it looks like he might. Colrus may be out of the books no sooner than he's been put in them. And Almeyer's going for it here. Can he beat him? He's gone past him. This is amazing. Up to 80 metres. He has smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. And he can take a lie down now. That was astonishing from Travis Orpmeyer. He is back with a bang. And he takes the adulation of the crowd, and so he might. The season's best moment for him. Travis! Travis! You got the best distance. You are now the new world record holder. You're back. You're back and you're bad. In a good way. I said it when I came here. I wanted to prove a point. And wanted to show the people that get knocked down that you can get your ass back up and you can make something of your life. I'm proof of that. I want to show the world that no matter how hard you get knocked down, you always have the opportunity and the choice to get back up and make something of yourself. Don't let them keep you there. Yes, well done. A strong message there from Travis Orkmeyer. He is a world record holder, 82.4. I'm not sure if anyone's going to beat that now. Ivar Smoke Stelis will do his best. Currently occupies third place in the standings. He's 10 points clear of Orkmeyer, who will no doubt close that gap now. Four and a half points behind Radzikowski. Just the aforementioned Paul and Zagaris to go after this as they battle it out for the title. Smoke still is doing okay here, but he finishes there and he doesn't look too happy about it. It's a distance of 42.6 for Latvian as he ends his year. Now Chisov Radzikovsky, who really has to go for it. And hope at the same time that Danis Sigeris doesn't do well after him. Otherwise, the Latvian will be the winner. So much exertion already this weekend for Radzikovsky. Time to see what he has got left. Slow and steady here at the moment from the pole. Who's just guided back on course. And that's where he finishes. So Chistov Ratikovsky ends there.